This was a feathered dinosaur, but these feathers aren't for keeping warm or for show. Their structure is plainly visible from the fossils. They are very long, veined, and most importantly, their shape creates a perfect aerodynamic surface. And they aren't confined to its forearms. Its legs, too, had long feathers. These feathers are designed for one thing only, flight. Microraptor is a four-winged dinosaur that took to the skies. But in these Chinese forests, Microraptor isn't the only flying monster. Sinornithosaurus, closely related and larger. More than capable of stealing prey. but it has larger prey in mind. Microraptor is now the hunted. Both can fly. But this isn't powered flight. It's gliding. Recent research has revealed how Microraptor flew. It didn't have the muscles for powered flight, so instead it made the most of its four wings. By holding its rear legs back and to the sides, it was able to become an incredibly efficient glider. Moving through the forest in a series of long, looping glides. Having longer flight feathers on both its arms and legs, Microraptor is by far the better glider. But with no ability to gain height, the only way is down. And once on the ground, the long feathers turn from an advantage into weakness. Microraptor is barely able to walk, much less run. Sinornithosaurus has no such problem. On the forest floor, the tables are turned. <laughs> 